Hey, how's it going guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get a lifestyle call in Excel. So before we begin, uh, I just want to say that this tutorial is going to be for uh, Microsoft Office 365 subscription users only. If you are using Excel 2016 or 2019, unfortunately, this uh, functionality or feature won't be available to your Excel version. So I just want to point that out in case if you waste your time uh, watch the remaining tutorial. Now let's get started. So here, uh, the first thing we want to do is we need to figure out, uh, we need to get the the, uh, the company stock symbol. And here I'm going to uh, grab the uh, stock symbol ticker for the company stock, you know? So first one will be Apple, uh, so AAPL. And we'll put the, uh, the stock symbol somewhere in Excel. So here I'll put that in my portfolio worksheet in column C. And I'm also going to grab a couple more. So here, Microsoft. And maybe just two more, Facebook and Google. So Facebook should be FB. And here we'll make Google. Okay, now uh, just these four companies for now. And I'm actually going to format this to uh, size 12. And I'll make the font style uh, uniform, so across. Here, what you want to do is you want to select all the stack symbols. Now go to data. And right here, uh, somewhere in the middle, you should see a stacks uh, option. Now click on that. Now Excel is going to convert those uh, tickers or symbols into a value that Excel is going to recognize. Now we can extract the stock information so that associated to those company. And here if you um, select any of the cell that contains the, or well, not contain, that is converted to a value that Excel recognizes. And here uh, on the top right hand corner, you should see the insert data icon and click on that. Now a list of available information uh, items is going to uh, display. So here you can choose uh, what kind of information that you want to insert to your Excel spreadsheet. And here let's say I want to extract the current stock price. So I should scroll down to the P section. Here I'm going to click on price and that will uh, extract the price for Apple. And here, um, here just a tip. So ideally you want to convert the uh, the list into a table so that way that uh, that way when you insert a new company or new symbol and the table is going to the table range is going to expand uh, dynamically so here I'm going to uh, just create a table so company and here I'll name this price and I'll highlight the table and I'll go to uh, insert and click on the table in here, you want to double check, just making sure that uh, the create table dialog is selecting the table. And if your table has headers, you want to check this, uh, my table has headers. Now I'll click on OK. In here, let me just uh, insert the price again. Okay, now that will uh, dynamically insert the price for all the companies. So instead of just uh, for Apple uh, by itself. So here I'm going to delete this column. And I'll rename the uh, the column header. And here I'm going to insert just a couple more items. So here I want to uh, insert the today's low price, and as well as uh, today's high, and maybe just one more. So here we have uh, let's do uh, oh opening price, and just this four. <coughs> Now next time, if you want to insert a new company, so here, I want, let's say, I want to in, uh, add Dropbox to my list in DBX. So all I need to do is just type the, uh, the symbol name, and that should be it. And this is a great way to create your portfolio. And if you need to refresh the, the data, so here you want to go to data, and making sure that your uh, selection is inside the table, now click on refresh all. 
and that will refresh the old information in your um, Excel table. And right now, because um, my information is the latest uh, update, so that's why when I click on refresh all, and nothing gets updated. But yeah, so this is everything I have to show you guys in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video uh, useful. If you like this video, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.